I'm from Crowd Lows and today we're going to laser cut a table name. So today, so we're going to laser cut a table name. We'll just move over here into Corel Draw and we'll start by opening up a new file. We'll label this one to be Mr. and Mrs. because that's the table name we're going to do. And we just need to make sure that we're set up for our rayjet, which is going to be 457 by 305 mil and in RGB. That way we've got our colors over here all in RGB and the laser will understand what we need to, for it to do. Now once this opens up, just get our text tool and we'll type out Mr and actually we'll do it this way mr and mrs bring this up to a decent size move it across a little bit out of the road for our to choose a font we'll just get our picker tool and now when we choose a font it'll just display all of them and we'll just try and choose one with a thick and thin there we go We'll use this one here. We'll get the size of this to be 527. So what we'll do is we'll make it only the width of this board. So we're gonna go 450. So we'll make it 450 mil What? Actually not like that. We'll make sure that this is closed so that way it does it in proportion. So we'll go 450 mil. And we'll move this over onto our board like that. And what we'll do is we'll make up a box to go underneath it. And this box will be, we won't make it 457, we'll make sure it's in center aligned and we'll make this one to be 450 as well. And that way it'll sit right in underneath nice and pretty. Move this up a little bit. And what we'll do is just make sure they're just touching some of these points down the bottom here. That S is a little bit too low. So what we'll do is we will grab the text tool. Just grab that one, go to object properties. And we'll just move that, we'll go to the middle of there. So it highlights that little bar. And we'll just move that up a little bit just so it doesn't look too odd, but enough to not cut off too much. So that way it doesn't look too odd with the join that does up here and it won't cut off too much of the letter down there. So what we'll do now is we'll just check the thicknesses of all these. So we zoom in to a nice little spot right here. We're getting nice and close. We'll grab this box tool and we'll just grab a nice straight spot and we'll just find out the thickness and the thickness is three mil. So what we need to do is make sure that all our thinnest parts are going to be around about the same thickness as what it is what we're cutting out. So if we're cutting out uh, a three mil board, we want to be at least around the three mil mark. If we're going to cut out a six mil board, we could actually go down a little bit, but we just don't want to go too far down as uh, we, we still want to keep the thicknesses around the same as being like if it's a six mil board, it needs to be a six mil thickness as the thinnest part of the letter. Um, but because it is six mil, it's got a fair bit of meat behind it. So what it needs to do is um, we could probably drop it down to around four mil. Uh, you could go down to three mil, but the burnt edges might end up becoming a little bit weak uh, and the weight of the board will end up being a little bit weak. So uh, we'll get moved back over here. So what we'll do is we just grab this uh, box here and get rid of it. And we'll just grab the letters and we'll just grab this uh, contour tool here make sure that it's on the outside and we'll start off by bank about right, be half a mil because we're at three mil at the moment so we only want half a mil which will get us uh, four mil on either side so we can cut this out of six mil board so if I just um, adjust this a tiny bit so that goes to five mil or 0.5 of a mil and what we'll do is we we'll go to our object manager and we'll break this apart Actually, first of all, before we move off of that, we'll just check the thickness, which obviously will be around four mil. Nice and close. We'll go in here, we'll check that it's about four mil, and there we go. So it's about four mil wide. So that's gonna be plenty thick enough for us to cut it, and it's not 
to fragile. Uh, so what we'll do is right click, brings up this little table here and we'll break apart this contour and then we'll delete the text from away from it and that way we're left with just the contour outline uh, which if I highlight it, right click to bring up that red line and left click on there to get rid of the fill. So what we've got there is now it's just an outline showing exactly what we've got here and what's going to cut out. It looks really good to me. So what we can do now is if we use, actually if we duplicate this first, so control C, my copy is just taking a little while. I wonder why it's taking so long. And then paste and then use that one by pressing shift and actually if I just do the picker tool press shift and select on these letters up here then I can remove and that way it removes all these little bottom pieces uh, and then that way what I can do is I can add on a small box so we just make up a box down here we'll get unselect this tool so that way we can um, define the sizes that we need and what we want is 10 mil wide actually we could yeah probably 10 mil wide because we don't want to get too wide for some of these spots here and it needs to be six mil high because that's the thickness of the board that it's going to go into now what we'll do is move this up and we'll place them at certain points under here so we can just have the one there Press copy, and my copy takes a long time. Waiting for it, waiting for it, there it goes. Press paste, and we'll put one under here. Press paste, we'll put one under here. I'm just holding shift to make sure it stays on that line. And that will probably be enough lock everything down so yes that'll do us so what we'll do now is grab these ones and align them by pressing shift and press T so align to the tops of those and what we can then do is grab all of those We'll group those together by pressing Control G and then we'll press copy, so Control C. Wait for the copy because our copy takes a long time. There we go. We'll press paste and while we've got that selected, we'll press Shift and grab hold of that one and then just merge those together. Uh, is everything going to be fine like that? This will do. And then we'll grab hold of this lot here again. And because they're already a group, we just grab hold of this main board and press E. And then that way that centers it in uh, horizontally up and down. So, that, so this part here will be centered. Now we can grab hold of this whole board and then just lower that down a little bit it's to about there. Now what we can do is we grab this board and we'll just round off the edges here. So we make them probably 10 mil. Make sure that this is clicked so they all do it. And that way it makes a nice little rounded edges and this will be the main board that they will stand up on. Now what we can do is just make sure that these have all come in properly, which they have. And now if we just select everything Make sure that the hair, the width of the line is hairline and that if we press right click on the red and left click up there and that way there's no fill and just a red outline hairline to everything and now that's ready to cut. So there you go that's how you make a laser cut uh, Mr and Mrs sign uh, uh, ready for the Rayjet laser um, and that way once you do that, once that cuts it all out, stick that into the board and just put a little bit of uh, PVA glue or some sort of wood glue uh, just inside of there and even on some of the flat spots of the letters where you've put them and then that way uh, it won't move and 
uh, it'd be a nice solid little pretty sign. So thank you for watching and please uh, subscribe if you're not already and uh, if, you, if you like these videos and just make sure that you uh, write comments because we do read them and uh, we can help you out on any other issues that you might have uh, trying to get this uh, set up like this. Okay, thank you.